Hey there! Today, I'm going to talk about this pen. Can you see it? I should hold it down a bit lower. This is a Franklin Christoph Model 66 desk pen. Um, it's cool. I got this from Eric from FB Geeks. It was from his personal collection. We were at the DC Pen Show and he said, well, I have to take one. And uh, that's what I did. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool pen. I'll cover the parts, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and uh, then I'll do a writing sample. So, first of all, no clip. There is no clip on the pen. Uh, if I understand correctly, these pens were made to take to pen shows, etc., and, and put all the different nibs in, extra fine, fine, etc., uh, so that people could just test them at the table. But then people liked the design so much that they wanted to buy it. Uh, so they, they just started to produce these pens. Um, nothing on top of the cap. I mean, no logo or anything. Large barrel. It is like a desk pen. So if you're not familiar with that, here you have a desk pen. You just put it on a stand on your desk and you write with it. Well, I don't know if there's a stand for this. I didn't see any, but, you know, it's, it's still a fairly long barrel. If you compare that to, to most other pens, and you kind of see the, the relative difference. Now, it has a flat facet right there, and it has some writing on it, which is, uh, it, it just says, Franklin Christoph Model 66. On the other side, uh, there is no real facet going on, so it's more rounded off there. Screw off the cap. Nothing on the cap, no logo, no model, nothing. And then you have the pen. Now, this is a pretty cool design. Um, it has a, a nice nib, good size. I like it. You can get it in gold. This is the stainless steel version. Uh, it has the, uh, the logo of Franklin Christoph on there, and it says B for broad. Um, very nice nib. I like it. Rib section, very tapered, and then it gets wider again. Type of ring in here. Um, and I actually, that's a pretty cool feature. This I just said the type of ring in here. It's not really a ring. These are actually the screw threads. So they keep the cap in place. So right at the entrance of the cap, usually that's where the threads are. With this cap, that's not the case. So that has one big advantage. There are no threads right there, which means that if you hold it, those threads will not cut into your skin because they're not there. They're right on top of the pen where you don't hold it. So you never feel any of those threads, unless you really put your finger all the way up there. But, you know, I don't, so for me that's not an issue. Can you pose the pen? Sure can. You don't see it, um, but, you know, you just post it. Uh, which is nice, because not all desk pens can do that, because usually they're extremely tapered and the cap just will just fall off. In this pen, it's not the case, very pleasant to hold. It's a bit light. Um, not particularly heavy, but you know it's it is all you know, plastic. It's not a um, a metal pen. Screw that off. There you have the uh, cartridge converter. I'm pretty sure you can put cartridges cartridges in there. Uh, I'm assuming this came with the converter, but I'm not sure. As I said, I didn't buy it, and I don't know that. Um, that's that's pretty cool. So threads for the barrel, and nothing too fancy uh, there. There you go, screw it in, it's in there pretty tightly. Big pen, you can see that. Pleasant to use, what more could you wish for? What do I like about it? Well, I think it looks cool. I've never seen a, a pen like this, unless you're talking about a desk pen. For example, Platinum makes them, Pilot makes them. Um, but they're all extremely thin and narrow. You see, this is a lot bigger. So I think it's a pretty unique design, that's very cool. Uh, it's pleasant to hold, pleasant to use. Uh, it's not top heavy or anything, even though it's it's fairly long. Well balanced. I just like it. Anything about it I don't like. Well, nothing really comes to mind apart from one thing, and that's just the size. The size of a pen can actually work against it. If you put it into a regular pen pouch like this, then you see the problem. This won't close anymore. I mean, it, it just barely fits, but it won't close anymore. But it's a desk pen, right? So I'm assuming you're supposed to put that on your desk and not put it in a pouch. And I wouldn't be surprised if Franklin Christoph actually sells pouches 
made for that pen, and if they don't, just put it on your desk. So, if you want to take this with you, it doesn't have a clip, um, you know, you may have some portability issues. Whether that's a real problem, I don't know, but if you have to find something, that's it. But of course, you know, it's kind of inherent to the, the whole pen design and the purpose of the pen that it is this size. So that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful. We'll do a writing sample next, and um, that's it. So, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Also, los. There we go. Franklin Christoph. Model 66. Desk pen. Ink is Twilight by Diamine. Okay. Bit of writing. Writes smoothly. I like it. So I told you there's a gold nib, but I got the stainless steel nib. Perfectly fine. What you may notice is this. Note the line variation. I'm not putting down more pressure here. That is thin. And that is wider. The nib, you probably can't see it. I'd love to zoom in, but I think my camera won't actually refocus. Um, so that would be kind of pointless. Um, what I can tell you is that the nib, I, you, you, you just you just can't see it that well. Sorry, sorry about making you uh, nauseous here. Yeah? Just zoom out once again. Um, there we go. Um, it's it's a somewhat stubby shaped nib. I wouldn't go so far as to call it a full nib, uh, a full uh, stub. I wouldn't go so far as to call it italic, but it is a little bit stubby right there. A little bit italicy with this line variation. And the line variation can actually work to your advantage, right, when you write. Get something that looks a little bit like a flexy nib. It's not really flexy. Is it not really flexy? Let's do some line variation. No, it'll open up a little bit. Apply some pressure here. It'll open up a little bit under pressure, but not extremely much, but because of the shape of the nib, you get line variation anyway, so who needs it? Do a bit of coloring. Test the wetness of the nib, nice and wet, see that straight away. Very few white uh, marks in between there, little those things. Looks pretty wet to me. Of course that's part of partially the ink, but it you know some pens are just naturally dry. This one is not just the way I love it. So I, I would definitely go for these. Um, see how it's in my hand? It's on the large side, already showed you that. Just fine. Do some quick writing. Not being legible, just being fast. I don't really see any skipping, so that's very good. The feed keeps up with the uh, ink supply that's needed. Love it. Well, there you have it. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you, Eric, for giving me this pen. Um, I love it. I think it's a great pen. Makes for a nice desk pen. Gives you a good line. Gives you a nice wet line. Everything I just like. So, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye.